what we're looking at here today is the high voltage battery pack out of a 2011 Toyota Prius. This is the, the third generation Prius and this is the uh, I guess still the current generation actually for the for the Prius. Um, we have here a, it's a nickel metal hydride battery pack which is still probably the most common battery used on hybrids at least um, as of the the 2013 model year but anyway um, battery pack is good for um, between 200 and 220 volts when it's just sitting here you can see it's made up of uh, several what we call battery modules that are all wired in series so each one of these these units here is a battery module and each battery module contains six cells so with all these things wired together in series what we end up with is a, a combined voltage in the neighborhood of like I said 200 to 220 volts though the batteries the, the modules are all connected together behind these these covers with um, oh little straps that are actually um, attached with with nuts on the end of each battery module. Um, at the end of each module um, we have a positive or a negative side. The, these here, this one here is negative, this one's positive, negative, positive. So they're wired back and forth the, as they are connected together. Um, some of the features underneath the cover of the, the battery on this Prius, there's some, some stuff back here worth mentioning. I'm going to use a, a laser pointer to point to some of these things because obviously it's not a good idea to be putting your hands on things. It's always best to be as safe as possible and touch things as little as possible. With this cover off, the battery is active because this plug right here is in place. So this is your high voltage service plug. Anytime you're working on the high voltage system, this plug needs to be removed. Now what happens when we remove the plug is we're actually dividing this battery into two sections. So you see the the big orange cables that are that are coming that are coming off of here. Um, these cables go and connect into the battery right here in this vicinity. Um, so when we pull that plug out, we disconnect the battery right here. You can see it's about about a third a third of the battery. So everything from here over is disconnected from everything from here over and that makes it so that we will not have any potential voltage or any potential difference coming out of the battery pack back over here where these two connections are made so that helps us to stay safe if we're servicing anything in the high voltage system so not just the high voltage battery pack back here but anything up front under the hood such as the inverter or any of those other things okay underneath the this cover you can see we've got a we've got a couple of other things back here we've got a couple of relays one here here and actually a third one right there these are the system main relays one of them connects the positive side of the high voltage circuit the other one connects the negative side of the high voltage circuit um, that would be these two here that do that this third one right here is called the pre-charge relay and what the pre-charge relay does is it allows the system to kind of ramp up the the current a little more slowly back here under the cover this this white thing that you see right here this is a resistor okay and what that does is it uh, the the precharge relay will actually hook up power through that resistor to begin with while the the hybrid controls kind of run a, a system check on themselves to make sure that they don't have excessive uh, leakage in the high voltage circuit and um, so that we, we we don't burn anything up so that everything stays stays safe as the high voltage switches itself on so once the the precharge relay once the precharge relay switches on the system runs a check it 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 will turn on both these relays and actually shut the precharge relay back off and then we have power connected back here to our high voltage connections that then go up to the front of the vehicle through that cable through the floor all the way up to the front. Um, other things we have back here 
This, this little box right here is the um, battery ECU. So this is responsible for monitoring various signals that uh, pertain to operation of the battery. One of them relates to the sensors that you see here, here, and here. And those are temperature sensors that monitor the temperature of the battery at various points. You can see they're evenly spread. Um, that's to help preserve the life of the battery. If this battery gets to working too hard and the battery temperature goes up, then that is very bad for the battery. In order to control battery temperature, we have a blower fan that you can see right there. And there's actually a little duct coming from our fan that goes underneath here and will actually come up underneath our battery modules and then vent out the top. Um, so if the battery does get hot, then we can switch on this blower or the, the computer will turn on that blower to help cool things off. Other things that we have underneath here, you can see this, this white connector right here. Okay, That goes to our current sensor. The battery ECU will monitor current as it flows into and out of the battery pack to help calculate state of charge. Um, besides temperature and current, the other thing that is used to monitor battery state of charge is the um, voltage of individual, well, groupings of modules. So if we come around over here and we look from this side, behind these covers there are connections to um, the modules that will send a voltage signal into our battery ECU in order to tell the, the computer what the voltage of the, the modules is at any given time. So with the monitoring voltage, monitoring current, and monitoring temperature, the computer is able to accurately determine what the battery state of charge is and help this battery to stay healthy that's really been one of the things that has made these hybrid batteries last a lot longer than people originally imagined they would is controlling that battery state of charge allowing the battery to operate in a place where it's happy so we keep that state of charge anywhere between oh 20 20 percent charge to 80 percent charge so we don't go less than 20 don't go over 80 and that helps helps keep the battery functioning nicely and it helps to keep the battery functioning functioning in a in a place where it um, where um, we get maximum life from the battery itself so that's just a few few basic things that we find back here under the battery cover on this 2011 Prius